Oi, oi, back. Mass Effect 3 of the squad. And they're uh, almost a school bro squad. If it wouldn't be for James. Ah, oh, he's a bro. But he's not. <laughs> That's bro, he is other bros. I hear him walk. I hear him walk. I love it. And I feel like they have special music. Oh. Okay. Javik. Javik is the bro, is the bros in the bro squad. Hey, a lot of survivors here. Good for you. Soldier, you okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago, and it's south. Okay, good luck. Yes, sir. He didn't even dodge. He didn't even try to dodge. What are you? Sniper. How many troops in that crash? 50? 75? Not sure. Sounds right. Hard to see a beautiful ship like that go down. Not to mention the men serving on her. Yeah. 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 We yeah. should go. They said the Primark huh? was headed south. I don't know why they don't bomb that place right here. They should bomb that. And what are you shooting, soldiers? Anyways. Among Us Reefers look better than Thomas the Tank Engine. Whoa, Let's see if they in cutscenes too. That was a little closer than I'd like. I'll say. And the music keeps repeating itself every few minutes though, or seconds. And it needs to replace. So, you really think this summit will work? I mean, Asari? Salarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's <laughs> not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the Genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Salarians came up with it. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. Huh? We get them on our side. We'll get that. Don't you worry, meathead. We're gonna... Nah, actually, you're the biggest meathead in the squad. We don't get a Krogan in this game. Oh, it's even want one. Nobody likes the Krogans. Nobody wants this Krogan goddamn squad, mate. No one. Absolutely no one. What the hell? <laughs> I never saw that from behind. It's cool that they walk around and turn around and stuff. That sounds bad! Okay, double time. No Reapers taking this Primark from me. Right behind <laughs> you! Yeah, it's mine. I don't have much health, I just realized that. Oh, that's our camp. Oh, that's the uh, that's a different camp. We got stuff. Let's, let's see if that reaches. That's bad that I don't have half. I should use a medkit. Otherwise, I'm dead in a second. Okay, let's get in. Oh no. Overlord? Yeah, good. What did I slash him into? Oh boy. Gonna have to turn up the difficulty a little bit. A little bit too easy. See if I can reach it. No. A little bit. Let's charge. There we go. Jesus, that was an explosion. You. Doesn't want to. I think does it all. No ammo. That's not good. 
Give it everything you've got. So I'm everywhere. Damn it. Oh no. As I say, I need to turn off the difficulty. Oh, I'm getting more smashed. I don't have ammo. Turn up the the whole time. Let's get, ammo. Let's get up here. Do it. What are we shooting? Oh, one more dude. Get him out of here. Still shooting something. No, no, we're done. What the? <laughs> oh. General Victus. Yes. I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Not Commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy? Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. We all hate diplomats, trust me. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by the book kind of guy, and I piss people off. My family's been military since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is... deceptive. Can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah, I don't know, Garrus. But I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. Oh, the Krogan, really? 
for Rex is a laugh in the safe. This road before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me. I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. Goodbye. Oh. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. Isn't there an ED problem? I could have sworn there's an ED problem. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Any updates on Cerberus? There's still the wild card here. Hitting the Archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. It didn't seem as if the Elusive Man was suggesting we appease them. Not like Saren did. You'd think we'd be on the same side, now more than ever. Cerberus has never played by the rules as we know them. I don't know what their agenda is, but it has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. The Elusive Man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. He's wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. <laughs> Doesn't mean he won't try. I saw your report on that Cerberus soldier you found on Mars. If the Elusive Man is good at one thing, it's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't now. It's insane. Insanity. Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? Biara appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's going to be a hell of a thing to try and build. Do you think it's risky? Building something like this when we don't even know what it does? To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me. But the Reapers have forced our hand. Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. Some thought it could even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. I'm flattered, but the Normandy's just one ship. And a fast one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. It's an advantage, but can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. The battle against Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. I haven't forgotten. So I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. Nothing okay. more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Keep hammering. Let's see what's up with the other people here. Oh, music first though. Otherwise, this ship sounds so dead. Where's my music? Destroyed. Good. Meow. Those are my assets. That's the Brymark. I didn't find a Brymark mod. Sadly, he's gonna stay boring looking. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship. And for going along with this plan. Garrus said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. Uh. Sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari Counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right. But there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood. If we don't try. When you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? Oh, not right now. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavin. And mine with Earth. 
What a politician. It's already learned how to be politicky. Politicky. Nice word, Patrick. What's the dick in politics? He just went offline. Oh, yeah. What do you mean, offline? I don't know. She's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Deck three. Com systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. See if you can get to Edie. I'll check the AI core. Whatever's happening, it's taken Edie offline. Commander, fire alarm in the AI core. Get down to deck three. Oh, yeah, right. I can't press the scout map bit right now. Can I exit here? No. No. Please. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh... Game is not responding. I can't even press ESC. And press that. And press console commands. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> uh. Sounds like I need to restart the game. Yeah, that's totally unresponsive. Lovely, lovely. Hit the button. I can press. And try plugging in my controller. That won't work anyways. But sure, let's try that. Nope. Of course not. I could try typing in TLC. It was it TLC? Or TCL? T. Hold on. TCL. Nope. <laughs> okay. Okay. Lovely. To restart my game. Ugh. Okay, let's see what's up there. I also changed the outfit. It's super dark. It's a black coat. That always cool. Check on Garrett's first. Yeah, it's in here, right? Yeah, it's in here. What's up, man? Engineer, eh? It's up here. With weapons. Automated systems have the fires contained. It should be safe to enter. We'll follow your lead. Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. I'm going in. I see something glitching. Is it limping? Edie, talk to me. <laughs> I see her glitching. Oh, the mod seems to work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, Is oh, there a good. particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Uh, Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. Oh, that catwalk. The uber sexy catwalk. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. I like that mod way more than the normal ED outfit. Or oh, cyborg skin. This looks better. Well, if it means having full access to the Prothean data in its head, good work. I reasoned along similar lines. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. 
This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Can we test it? Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever test you can. Then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. <laughs> oh, that lion. We can agree. Uh, and Ashley, we're gonna bring it to the hospital with us. Say hello to Ashley. What are you? Oh, reassign powers. Reassign powers. What? Bonuses. Was that Edie who just walked by? <laughs> yes, it was. Oh, Joker is going to have a field day with that. Oh. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time, if I may. I'd like to examine you. <laughs> Have I ever told you I don't like doctors? Don't be such a grouch. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. The procedure we did for your scarring has produced a lovely synthetic protein overlay. And your body has accepted the implants quite nicely. It had better. Sure didn't come cheap. That's it. You're the picture of health. I want my scars back to look badass. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Uh, but I didn't have my safe far with the red-eyed, similar-looking Shepard with scars all over the face. All over. Let's see how the calibrations are going. Have been lost in a matter of hours. I know, Primark. I'm seeing the same oh. numbers myself. They don't look good. We have to turn this around and fast. Well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's him. He's an old oh. friend of Erdnot Rex. Let's just hope friendship still counts for something in this war. What the I'm hell sure is that lens flare working? Okay, we need to get you into better modded armor. The, the, he has different armors, but the only thing face-wise that's new is that the visor is gone. Garrus, didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. Oh, I already missed the Mass Effect 2 modded faces for him. They only exist in Mass Effect 2, sadly. We're not going to beat the Reapers by second-guessing ourselves, Garrus. I need you at your best. Every decision we make is the right one. And when we're wrong? We haven't been so far. There are times I wish we were. Convincing my people the end was coming got pretty rough. They didn't want to hear it. Finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Of course Until not. Hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. We've lost enough friends trying to make sure this day never came. I'd say we've all earned some respect. Then the first Reaper we take out with this gun, it's in their honor. Just give the word. Something else you want to talk about? Oh... Oh, uh, just two things right now, just two things. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if he did try, 
Well, we'll just find another Primarch. Oof. I noticed General saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of succession are you these days? Let's not go there. Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, I knew time was running out. For all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy, meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. Oh, I feel like there are, are so many proofs from the first Reaper attack with Sarah and that they have definitely known that the Reapers are coming. It's actually mind blowing how much this game says, yo, nobody thought the Reapers would be coming. I mean, it wasn't just Shepard. The Citadel got attacked by a gigantic Reaper and they didn't think this was gonna happen after all the warnings. Oh. What did you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. Okay, we're gonna talk about everything. Everything. This voice is too cool. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. It's a quite good talker. Inspirational. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. I mean, you should have at least two survivors, male and female. Oh. You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long has it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. Worried? Don't you worry. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. What about you? Any word from your family? My mother's in the Alliance. Haven't heard from her since Earth got hit. I'm sure sh she's... <laughs> uh, 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 I don't think those conversations are going it's anywhere. Now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. You calibrate her hard, calibrate her good. I'm a piercing ammo unlocked too. Okay. I mean, we're gonna spec into fire and fire on the damn crew talk time. You're positive you don't want to come over and talk? No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. What? Garrus. I'll be fine, Liara. Just gathering some thoughts. All right. Stop. Stop flirting with my girl. And don't you dare invite him into the bed. I know he has cool voices. Upgrades. None. 
Okay, that's how I like it. Uh, sure. Oof. Oh, are you okay? Yeah. Loading with Garrus. Oh, wait. He always wears the outfit in the privates. Oh, oh, perfect. Yeah, the armor sound is good looking. Anyways. Hello again, Shepard. Nice lens flare you got there. Oof. What's new? Let's start with that. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. Holy hell, the lens flares strong. This goddamn talking segments. Ah, uh, everything. What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been exciting. The old broker's ship, impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Oh, smart move. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Farron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to your doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. You brought your little helper with you? Its name is Glyph. It helped sort through all the data that led me to the Archive on Mars. It was a pleasure to be of assistance, Doctor. Glyphs interfaced with the data feeds. Its analytical software should come in handy. You gave him a bootlicker personality. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. That's all? That wasn't we'll very interesting. Later. Of course. Okay, it is always up there in the cockpit, I believe. I haven't Dr. talked Tassani to. Sh found useful information in the data you recovered, Commander. Yes, shut up, Butlika. We have. Damn it! No one on engineering. There's no one here. They're all down there ship is so big and there's just no squad mates in this game to recover to get weapon upgrades oof now let's save it a little bit what do we have here another shotgun sure i'll take this for a switch yeah Confirm. Back. I'm gonna switch for guns as much as I can. Cortas. Okay, Mr. Pull ups. Mr. Hundred Pull ups. Because that's possible. I was checked that. Hey, boss. So, that Turian's on board now, no? That. And Edie's got herself a shiny robot body. <sighs> what? <laughs> she got that Cerberus bot and took it over. <sighs> You're shitting me. No. <sighs> I shit you not. Huh. <sighs> you down here for a reason? <clears throat> or you just come to tell me about Edie? <sighs> it's my ship. I go where I want and talk to whoever I want. <sighs> Fair enough. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <clears throat> you already know my service record. 
I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. <sighs> well... <sighs> Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Uh, uh. Yes, I can, Lieutenant. You pulling rank on me, boss? We're just soldiers down here, no? Sure. But this soldier will clean the floor with you if you step out of line. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> and who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. Oof. <laughs> Eat it. Nice. <clears throat> what do you mean, was? Died with most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the int. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Ooh, cheap shot. I do. You a shrink too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So, maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. <clears throat> Good to hear it. But you sacrifice yourself or my ship needlessly? That's unacceptable. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Loco. So, um, dodging the attack would have been Paragon? I don't get that at all. Uh, the first Paragon option, or uh, quick click, I uh, did by accident because I thought it's all Renegade here. Ah, uh, I'm no Loco. No nicknames, Lieutenant. Okay. Your ship, your rules, your loss. Renegade for life! <laughs> Commander, that's right. Oh. Lock was a shitty nickname anyways. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Okay. Ooh, yeah, okay, now we just need to talk to Edie and the trainer. Commander, I found something suspicious. Have you got a minute? Ugh. Commander, are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I did not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. Aww. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper Invasion Front will hit them soon. Oof. Oof. I need to check if all my check. I need to check if all my check mods are in order. Oh. <laughs> I love that sentence. I'm gonna say it again. I need to check if all my check mods are in order. I thought oh. the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension project helps gifted young biotics. If it had been open 20 years ago, I bet you'd have been there. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. This sounds like a job for an evac transport. Right, and a Turian transport responded to their distress call. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. 
Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. She looks scary in that light and camera angle when she looks my direction. Put it on the map. Adding it now, Commander. Good. I will do that in the future. I don't know if I have a time limit for everything. But then I need to check out my mods that they are in order. And first I need to... If I start texture modding, there's no going back. With switching out other mods. Oh yeah. Hey Commander, check out my co-pilot! Oh, I hope you were... Uh, your pants at least. You already don't want it. You should. Oh. She plugged herself into Cerberus Tech without authorization. Well, technically, she is Cerberus Tech, so. Not helping, Joker. Uh. I've run the checks, Commander. She's still based in the Normandy. Running this body just gives her a little more flexibility. Sweet, sweet flexibility. Mm, flexibility. I am right here, Jeff. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. Oh, I'm gonna ruin that for you. And god damn it. Wear some clothes. There are different outfits though. I might switch one or two out. For two texture mods. Because damn it afterwards there's no going back like I said. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has series design oversights. At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. <laughs> uh, aww. I'll be over here, flying the ship. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? He likes it. No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard. Understandable. Do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Uh... If I give a legitimate order, I expect it to be carried out. I'll be responsible for its costs. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer. Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? What kind of modifications? Are we talking about in your hair glitching? Damn it. Your core programming? Like self preservation, not allowing humans to be harmed, things like that? Correct. Don't touch a thing. I see how that could alarm you. That is why I wanted to discuss it before making changes. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. Can we romance E.D. this game, actually? Ah, oh, I mean, she's gonna kill Cerberus humans. So, you know, that's gonna be a thing. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot yeah. of crap out there and he's a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might yeah. need something calibrated. <laughs> Garrus is the best, shit up. Commander. Okay. Okay, we're talking to everybody. Let's do a little side quest. Check out Didi's new body in action. And the armors. Commander, Let's... you have a message from Lieutenant Commander Williams. She must be feeling better. That I can listen to? Or is it just an email? Aria to look. Yeah, I have a mod for her. Texture mod. Oh. Yeah, apparently she is better. Basic. Said it in German. Oh, okay. 
I don't want to read it. Just want to eat it and beat it. And defeat it. The Reaper curse. Oh, yeah, saving. Saving. You depot. I'm pretty sure I didn't go out of space. I want the side mission. Need Aria to look. Baba, Profin Artifact. We're gonna do that too. Rescue the students. Meet with. Meet Dr. Price and meet our dear low. Could have sworn there's a side quest somewhere here. Service lab. Is that the side quest? Let's go there, see what the service lab is. I didn't remember a quest from my way. Might be service base white. I found something. Huh? What is it? Oh god damn. That's how shitty this works. Is that not worse even? That feels worse. Oh f Okay, that's that's even worse. Ah, oh, Reaper Lordness, love it. Ah, oh. I can get rid of my music. Cerberus Lab. That must be the side quest. That must be the side quest. Let's see. Enter Robert. Oh, Lance. Let's see which multiplayer map that is. There we go. Saraku appearance. That's normal. That looks modded though. <laughs> it's modded for sure. Oh, that's not too much. Oh, let's get actually we wanted to see what she has a bunch of cat suits a bunch of armors like a bunch of armors like a bunch of armors like a bunch of armors <laughs> oh my god yeah i mean we got like 10 ed armors oh, let's start with this one this looks disgustingly bad i feel like i have so many armors but none of them are actually Looking that good. You gotta get your other armors on. This one for the next one. For the next time I take you. Okay. I guess ED on the arrow will be number one on the squad mid list. ED because we have so many goddamn armors. I don't care about weapons. Shockwave, we're waiting for Shockwave, or to level up. Meh, yeah, doesn't matter. That looks weird. That's the only time I'm going to use this armor. We're going to go through all of these armors. Oh, I don't know why she has 10 different ones. And also the base catsuit, I believe I can change that. I don't know quite now. I don't know. Commander, I've got a hail from Admiral Hackett. Put him through, Lieutenant. Shepard, we've uncovered a secret service lab. Function unknown. We sent in a recon team, but they were forced to pull out before they got very far. Any other intel? We think they're using the facility to warehouse and study Reaper tech. We've been wondering how service is connected to the Reapers, and this might give us some answers. We're on it. Find out what Cerberus is doing and get me any Reaper tech samples you can, Commander. Hack it out. Is it Firebase White? Is that... Caution restricted area? Which Firebase is this? I don't know, I know the names of most of them anyways anymore. But I played a lot of the multiplayer. Oh no, that's not White. 
That's the one where you run in circles most of the times. Commander, I'm tracking some tech with a Reaper signature. Yeah. That's your first sample to grab. Updating your nav point. On my way. You need to solo it often. I soloed this often. Often, damn it. Yeah, those two Zamas. They don't look good. Credits. Done. You get sliced through the wall by a banshee. It's tip for your experience. Oh look, there's someone here. Ah, just need a charge. Charge! Charge! I said charge! And then I threw him. Damn it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. dolls. Who oh, has uh, pause ready? Damn it, charge it. My fire ammo? No. Okay. Okay. Credits. Money. We need that. Hold the line. No, just deactivating. It appears to be Reaper Tech, but the signature is new to me. Got the sample. Roger that. Meet you at the landing pad. There's more, right? That's not it. Okay, we're dropping off every single sample. Boy, it's so not passy you. Second sample located, Commander. Nav point updated. Good work. Shit. Oh, perfect. Ah. Damn, those turrets, I remember. The worst thing. Nope, that makes no sense. Pimidor seems actually bright, bright, quite good. There's someone up there. He won't interfere with us. It is gonna get him. Well, I'm gonna get those dudes. Signature is definitely Reaper technology. Cortez, second sample secure. Heading back to you now. Just need to hold did out until Cortez can pick us up. Yes, she did. Where's that guy? Somewhere down here. Anyways. Another. Over yet. It was about to punch me. Oh, 
Cortez, do you copy? What's your status? Engaging multiple targets. Time for something to get risky. Lieutenant! Oh. <laughs> and just through life, I like got uh, people and multiplayer games. Oh boy. And it bleeds for pro. No. Scheiße. Oh. He doesn't want to throw it. Just like that. Oh, you bastard. That's not what I wanted. Cortez, you copy? I hope he's still alive. <laughs> make it. Let's just keep the landing pad clear. I saw that dude spin around. <clears throat> the hell was that smoke grenade? The worst ever. Damn it, Didi. Oh, both of them. Commander, had to go dark side to shake him. Coming in hot, be ready. We're ready for extraction as soon as you can get here. Charge, you fool! Oh, always the same problem. Damn it. Why is that not working? Focus. Love when the eye to charge doesn't work as intended. Okay. Oh my god. Seriously, come on. Let me charge. We're leaving someone behind. It's Liara. Oh, there, he's right there. Can I please? Don't just spawn right. Oh, no. Stand up, soldier. I don't like that armor, that's a modded one. Are to look for the win? A lot of Mass Effect 2 armors are cleaner. The best engineers looking at the Reaper tech you secured from that lab. What was Cerberus doing with it? We don't know yet, but whatever Cerberus is up to, it can't be good. 
Even if we can't determine its purpose, we've disrupted their experiments. I doubt they'll just close up shop. Agreed. We'll keep sending strikes against the facility. Good work, Commander. Uh. They just have unlimited resources. Cerberus, the biggest army in the universe, seemingly in this game. <laughs> How many goddamn people they have on their side? See the Citadel when we were there on leave? You'd never know there was a war on. They'll know soon enough. All those refugees Come on, have to go somewhere. You have an encrypted message oh. from a Miranda Lawson. Miranda. Guess we're gonna go to the Citadel first. Oh, actually, now we're gonna get the Reaper. Oh, uh, there's so many people. There's so many captain people. Miranda. Miranda. Ah, uh, next part, I believe. We're gonna get ourselves to Brophy and, and then to the Citadel. And then the Academy. Yo, but this was long anyways, I don't know how long, that's more than one hour, peace, oh, it's dark in the meantime, yep, that's how long it was.